When you receive our brake kit, you will be eager to install it on your e-bike. So let's follow our demo video to do it. First of all, you'd better replace the brake discs we provided. So you'll get a better fit. And torque the screws diagonally when installing the discs. It's easy for you. Next, as shown in the picture, we offer three types of frame adapters. Front frame, equipped with two adapters. Rear frame, equipped with two adapters. Please note the difference and install the brake and adapter on the frame with the concave and convex gaskets and screws of two length types. The purpose of the concave and convex gaskets is to help us better adjust the distance between the various objects. I believe that this is not difficult to do this for you. This way, we have the brake mounted on the brake disc. Then, from the bottom to the top, connect the brake hose to the e-bike with the zip ties and cut off the excessively long zip ties. Then loosen the brake lever with a wrench. Install the brake lever on the e-bike and lock it. Congratulations you have completed half of the installation operation. The next installation operation is very important. Please operate carefully. Use a screwdriver to unscrew the small sealing screw at the end of the brake hose. Remove the small screw and the accompanying sealing sleeve. Careful! Careful! Please be careful. The brake hose is filled with oil. Not to shake the brake hose to avoid oil spilling out. Rotate the 6mm wrench to open the seal on the brake lever. Careful! Careful! Please be careful! The brake lever is filled with oil. Not to press the brake lever to avoid oil spilling out. Put the rubber protective sleeve into the brake hose. And put the screw into the brake hose. And put the copper sleeve into the brake hose. Then insert the brake hose into the brake lever. At this point, pay attention to inserting the brake hose into the bottom of the brake lever. And keep the state of the brake hose inserted into the bottom of the brake lever by hand. Tighten the connecting screw by hand. Tighten further with an 8mm open wrench. And tighten a few more turns to ensure a good seal. Place the rubber protective sleeve on the screw. And then, rotate the adjustment screw to have an appropriate feel. Finally, rotate the tire and observe for any friction. We have also provided you with installation instructions with specific installation details. So remember to read them. Wow! Go and enjoy the excellent braking experience.